Bees don't fly. It's impossible, at least according to the laws of physics. Their wings are too small to support the weight of their bodies. By all calculations, they shouldn't be able to lift off the ground. Yet, they do. How is that possible? Bees flap their wings at an incredible speed. This creates a special vibration field in the air, allowing them to seemingly defy the laws of nature. Their flight is truly a miracle of vibration. This is also connected to the shape of honeycombs. If you sprinkle sand on a surface and expose it to a certain frequency, the grains form hexagonal patterns. Honeycombs have exactly the same shape, following the same natural principle. The reason honey doesn't spoil also lies in these vibrations. When producing honey, bees work at a specific frequency, which prevents mold or fungi from forming. Even honey found in ancient Egyptian tombs remains edible after thousands of years. Bees also communicate through vibrations. The queen controls the entire hive with these signals, deciding which bee does what and where. Their whole world is built on a delicate balance of frequencies. When it rains, bees can't fly. Their wings get wet, disrupting that fragile vibration balance. It's as if nature itself set a limit to their miracle. Albert Einstein once said, if bees disappear from the face of the earth, mankind would have only four years left to live. And when you think about it, he was probably right.